Hey, loan officers, I know you know this, but the market that you're going into is gonna be brutal. It's gonna be harder than the market you're vacating was easy. So you have to have all the tools available to you. You have to have all the arrows in your quiver and all the knives in your kitchen. As a lender, a loan officer, you need to have a company that's gonna have all the products available to you, innovative products that not everybody is doing, and you wanna make sure you're getting great pricing with a company that's gonna be here tomorrow. It's kind of a tall order, isn't it? If you wanna have these type of anonymous conversations, click this banner right over there, or just go to Mortgage Shop Talk, Mortgage shoptalk.com and we can have a conversation an anonymous conversation right now now on with the show So did you guys hear that the chief marketing officer of the mortgage company Sprout just won the Housing Wire Marketing Leader Award for 2022? Yeah, came out just a couple of days ago. Or to put it another way, she got the award a day before the company went under. But here's a good way of looking at things. She got an early start to spruce up her resume. You get it? Sprucing up your resume? I, I, yeah. I know, I know, it's a stupid dad joke. But all joking aside right now, this market is absolutely brutal and more companies Companies are feeling the pain and will feel the final burden in the coming weeks and months. And this is all like right in front of our windshield right now. So seriously, like I said yesterday, work with your strictly non-QM companies that are still here because they're feeling the pinch too. And they'll do something that your agency companies that are working in the non-QM space can't do. And that's give you a manual underwrite, which means more approvals for you in these trying times. I mean, this, my friends, is so weird. So this is how weird things are right now. Did you know that the dollar is at a 20 year high? Yep, true story. The dollar index, which tracks the greenback versus a basket of six currencies, shot above $1.07, while the euro tumbled below $1.02, both for the first time since December 2002. How is it possible that at the exact same moment in time that we have record high inflation, meaning our dollar is the weakest we've ever seen it in our lives, but it's the strongest it's been in the last 20 years with all other currencies? Well, I'll tell you, go something like this. Yeah, we're probably screwed over here, aren't we? But the rest of the world is even more screwed because their currency is worse. See, it's all relative, people. The only thing you need to do to lose weight is just get fatter friends. And the only thing that we need to do to improve our currency is to make sure everyone else's is worse than ours. Told you these are crazy days. Did you know that Goldman Sachs has just looked back at all 77 recessions since 1961 to provide us a little context around the current economic environment in a report titled Revisiting Recession Facts? The report's bottom line, according to Goldman's Chris Hussey, some of what we're seeing today, economic overheating and large increases in rates, suggests that the world could be on the brink of a rather severe recession. Thanks, Mr. Obvious. And also from the mouth of the Mr. Chris Hussey at Goldman Sachs, or Goldman been sack. The odds that the economy enters a recession in the next year is 30% in the United States, 40% in European areas, and 45% in the UK. So see, I told you it's worse for everybody else. Goes on to say, high unit labor cost growth and high core inflation and large cumulative increases in the policy rate often precede severe recessions. In contrast, elevated private sector financial surpluses often foreshadow less severe recessions. And we have high labor costs, inflation, lots of policy changes and low financial surpluses. So buckle up buttercups, the ride is about to begin. And all the while the job market is still red hot despite all the doom and gloom. I don't know. They say job openings and voluntary departures remain extremely high while layoffs are near record lows, conditions that are favorable to the worker. Yeah, they say that the great resignation is still in full swing, according to economists, though there are some signs of a slight slowdown. And they say it's unclear how long it's going to remain a job seekers market, given the Federal Reserve's move to raise borrowing costs and fears of a looming recession. And I say quit feeding them money and then they'll go back to work because they'll have to. And that, my friends, I don't know, is good for everybody. And finally, three points that have nothing to do with the show. One, should Russia free Brittany Griner or should she have followed their rules? And point number two, watch the series Godless on Netflix or Terminal List on Prime. They're both pretty good and I doubt you've seen either one of them. And lastly, because I think it's still funny, I'm gonna close with a video that shows Prince kicking Kim Kardashian off of his stage when she tried to pull a Kanye. See, think of this, people. If you want to improve your child's intelligence, find a way to kick those Kardashians off of your family's stage. Words of wisdom. Hope you have a great day. Because that's a